In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to create a percent of total column within your query quickly and easily using the dsum function. And to illustrate this, I'm going to uh, work with the transaction master table that I've got here. And I'm bringing in branch number and sales amount. I'm grouping branch number and I'm summing on sales amount. Now notice here that I've got an alias of revenue here. Now I'm going to use this alias somewhere else. So keep this in mind that this is an alias. Uh, I'm going to run this just to demonstrate what I get when I run this. Literally, it gives me a list of all the branch numbers and the total revenue amount that each branch number has brought in for the year. What I want to do is I want to create a um, percent of total column here that will give me literally the, the percent of the total amount of revenue for the company that each branch makes up. So for example, 101,319 uh, makes up a certain percent of the total amount. 101,419 makes up another percent of, a, uh, of the total amount. So that's the gist of it. So let's go ahead and, and go ahead and demonstrate to you what the dsum function can do for us. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an idea of what the dsum function does. It basically returns the, one value. That's all it does. And that value is basically a sum of some field in the, uh, in the whole data set that you've got. So for example, when I say dsum sales amount from transaction master, it's basically going to sum the sales amount for all the records in the transaction master. Now notice the syntax that I have here. dsum and any other domain aggregate function requires that um, the fields be placed in quotes. Now that doesn't necessarily mean this is a string, this is just the syntax for the dsum function. And I've got expression here because this is an obviously an expression. And when I run this, you'll notice that I get the same results, branch number and revenue, but also I get I have a, a column here called total. And this total is the same for every record. Well, this is because the dsum function returns only one value, the total amount of revenue for the entire data set. So how can this help? Well, although this doesn't look very useful, it is fairly useful because now what you can do is you can use this alias of revenue as an expression in a calculation. Revenue divided by this value that the dsum function is going to give, give us. Okay, when I run this, now it gives us some sort of fractional amount. Now this fractional amount is literally the percent of total. So let's do a couple things. First, we're going to change this to percent of total. And I'm going to change the properties of this particular uh, field in this query to a percent. And that's it. So now when I run this, I not only get the revenue and the branch number, grouped by branch number I should say, but I also get the percent of total revenue that this particular branch makes up. So if I want to see the branches that make up the most percent of revenue, here they are. And that's it. It's as easy as that.